Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, are you ready for part two of my Facebook group members share their best January Bolo? And I'm gonna knock your socks off with this first one. I'm gonna tell you that right now, wow. Um, I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So basically what I do is I post this in my Bolo, in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not a member, definitely go join down below. And I invite everybody in the group to share their bolo. So far, I have been able to get all of the bolos into a video. So um, if it gets crazy and I get like 500, I'll probably have to like narrow it down some, but right now it's manageable. So thank you to everyone that has been sharing. If you are a Bolo Buddies member of my YouTube channel, you will get a shout out in this video. I'll pop up like your YouTube channel or your eBay store and shout you out. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Uh, memberships over on my Bolo Buddies channel. If you join at the $4.99 level, you will get the shout out for the perks. Um, otherwise, the channel is completely free. Um, if you share in the group, you will be completely anonymous unless you're a member. So this first item, bought at a local professionally run estate sale, paid $37.50. So actually purchased four of them for $150 and sold for full price. So you guys, these are kitty kitty kittens. And if you guys watch my channel on a regular basis, you know that I have picked these up and sold them. Mine were pre-owned. I got them super cheap at a garage sale but these are new old stock. Ah! So it looks like they sold two, um, let's see, 1992, two to love. So it looks like it's a set, a pair, $700, you guys. Oh, oh my goodness, kitty, kitty, kittens. Now there are also puppy, puppy, puppies. The puppy, puppy, puppies do not sell for as much as the kitty, kitty, kitties, <laughs> but um, look them up. I think it's kitty, kitty, kittens. I may have misspoke. Um, somebody said, I have mine from when I was a kid. Loose, they sell for 80, but my son loves it. So I let him play with it. What good are toys if we don't let kids play with them? So she said she has, it looks like she had the kitty, kitty kittens. Uh, some of the kitty, kitty kittens, even if they're pre-owned can go for more than 80. They can go for big bucks. The puppy, 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 same thing. It just depends. Look them up because it depends on the color um, how many, like if certain ones were more mass produced than others, sorry, this is like video five and I'm sitting on the ground. So I'm trying to move around here. Okay. Bought it for $6 in Southern Alabama rummage sale paid, um, sold in 24 hours for asking price of $55. They paid shipping. Notice Mary is taller than Joseph. Odd, but refreshing. Don't you think? LOL. She says, so it's a nativity set. Um, says possibly Mexican. Mexican party unmarked, a pottery unmarked. So nativities, like it's one of my weaknesses. I always pick them up because they always sell. Um, I actually did a, it was a sourcing. Um, I was at a thrift store and I left one behind and I still think, man, I probably should have bought that, but I couldn't figure out what it was. I tried Google lens. Um, that should be in an upcoming video. Bought at the Goodwill bins for a dollar, sold on eBay in a couple of weeks for full asking price of $129.97 plus shipping. It's a Maui gem maca, macaha. I don't know how to say it. Oh no. Okay, I'm probably saying that wrong. Macaha? <laughs> I don't know. Unisex rimless warm tortoise sunglasses. $129.97, that's what they look like. Got these for 25 cents over the summer. Didn't think they would be worth more than $15. Very surprised. Um, it says Church and Dwight Company trade cards, series number four, complete set of 30 vintage ducks. That's what it looks like. I don't know if they're postcards or, oh, trading cards. Okay, cool. Found these found this Disney Gallery Christopher Radko Eeyore ornament. You guys, Christopher Radko is typically a good bolo. From 1997 at the Goodwill for 99 cents. It had the tag for it being numbered 5,000 were made. 
it had the box too, which be was beat up, but the ornament and tag were perfect. I paid 99 cents, couldn't believe it. In fact, it was so well taped that I did not open it until home to see if it was in good shape, if it was really there. Sold it for 85, had it for about five weeks, probably could have held out longer and gotten more, but I was really happy with the offer. So it looks like this sold on Poshmark for $85. Found in the Inherited Hoard. So this one comes from Janet, who is um, a Bolo Buddies member. Her YouTube channel is Antiques by Karen dash Janet. She inherited her mother's um, hoard of uh, vintage and antique items that she had. She had an antique booth for 35 years. So it was a good hoard. Uh, she sold this Fisher Price Great Adventure Castle open box complete for $249.99. So definitely go and subscribe to her YouTube channel. She talks about her journey of going through the items in that hoard. I do very well with anything Vera Newman. Found this at a local thrift for $3 and it sold in three weeks for $45 plus shipping. So it looks like... Um, a tablecloth, you guys, a fringed tablecloth, very cool. And she also included what the signature looks like. So I appreciate that, that helps us all learn. Definitely bread and butter, but a test for me because I hate selling clothes. Paid $2, half day off at Volunteers of America thrift store, so regularly four. Sold full price for $35 within two weeks. I have sold vintage pennies, men's shorts, but in research, Townscraft sells well and learn the keywords, grandpa sweater. Um, so Towncraft vintage cardigan, v-neck grandpa sweater, maroon, red, acrylic. $35 is what she sold it for with uh, buyer paying shipping. Found this plastic 1984 strawberry shortcake 3D ornament at an estate sale in a box of Christmas items. Listed December 19th for $225 and sold it January 11th for a best offer of $175 and paid $2 for it. So how cool is that? Check that out. That's awesome. Vintage payphone, paid $14.99 at the Goodwill, sold next day, next day, for $329.99 plus shipping. That is awesome. It's a three-coin slot payphone. Scored a rare new with tags Disney Parks. It's a small world swing dress at Goodwill for $16. Listed on eBay for $220. Buy it now plus shipping. Sold in three days. Loves me some Disney memorabilia. That is fantastic. Disney Parks dress shop. It's a small world swing pinup floral goodbye dress new with tags medium. That's awesome. I bought this antique Bakelite pin at a yard sale last summer for a dollar. I got two of them, had it listed on eBay for 175 forever, reduced it to 145, got an offer for 100 and I took it. Still have the identical one up in my eBay store. How cool is that? It says Uncle Wiggly long ears antique painted gentleman bunny rabbit celluloid pin with a cane. Bought these on clearance at the grocery store after the holidays, paid 50 cents each. The reason I'm laughing is in the other video, she sold some chips. So uh, paid 50 cents each, so $2 total, sold in four days. So this looks like it is, I'm trying to get close here, Martinelli's Organic Mauling Spices, 20 bags, lot of four boxes, $29 plus shipping. That is awesome. I got this empty ice cream box years ago for $25 and just sold it for $1,800. Are you kidding me? This one comes from the Funky Pickle Thrifter and she has a YouTube channel. It is fantastic. Here's the link. Um, she specializes in jewelry, but this girl can sell some vintage and antique items as well. So definitely check her out. This is a rare Beatles ice cream box, you guys. How amazing is that? 25 bucks into 1800. Paid $2 at my local thrift store, sold less than a month on Etsy. Vintage Care Bears twin flat sheet fabric bedtime grumpy friend tender heart. 
um, sold it for $53. And it looks like here's another one that sold for $50. It is a vintage 1980s Smurf sheet um, fabric. $2 again, thrift store. And these were sold by Dare to Dream Big, uh, 1313 on eBay. I'm not sure what her Etsy shop is, is called, but um, she is an amazing bolo finder. So definitely check out her eBay store. Again, it is Dare to Dream Big, 1313. I had her in my money pile four months because I thought she was fake. She didn't have My Little Pony on the hoof. I took her out recently and discovered she had Hasbro 1981 written on the inside of the leg. I Google lensed and realized that she was quickly at what she was and quickly listed her. Sold in about two days overseas. She cost $5.99. I paid up at a Christian thrift store. Sold for $200, you guys. Oh. How cool is that? Purchased in a bag full of small PVC toys for $6.99 at the Goodwill months ago. Had item listed for $27. Finally got a liker and sent an offer for $19.99. I was in about $0.50 cents and have already made my money back from other toys I've sold that were in that bag. This is a lot of rare vintage from 1987. Who killed Roger Rabbit? And this is what it looks like. This one comes from Carrie. She is a moderator of the group. So go show her some love on her YouTube channel with a sub. Her YouTube channel is Be Carried Away. It is amazing. She has lots of what sold videos and she will educate you. I assure you that. She got this um, for $6.99 at the Salvation Army. It is a curly Persian lamb in a size small and it's vintage. Uh, sold on eBay and returned for fit. Resold on Facebook Marketplace for $20 more. Never be afraid of returns. So she sold it on eBay for... Is this the eBay listing? $129? i am not sure if this is the eBay or the Facebook Marketplace. It's hard to tell on the app. Um, but either way, it was either $129 or $149 that it sold for. So definitely a bolo. And again, I tell you guys all the time that Carrie is like the keyword queen. This woman knows how to come up with keywords that sell her items. So check her out. Paid $0.10 cents at an estate sale. Sold for $25 plus shipping in under two weeks. This is Fabric Softener Fab. It's vintage. It looks like this. Vintage advertising, you guys. Things that are discontinued, they sell. This is a laundry detergent. Like movie prop or something like that. Okay, this was a combined listing of Hot Toys. Um, DX0816 scale, the Joker figure, and DX0916 scale Batman figure. Both in original box came out of a storage unit, which I had already recouped my money on from other items over the weekend. This storage unit cost 190 total. Bought it last week on Thursday. Posted on Friday and sold yesterday. Originally priced at 700 each. Took an offer of 1,000 for both, plus 20 shipping. And these sold on Mercari. So for those of you that think that Mercari is a garage sale app, and that everybody offers garage sale prices, here is an example of something that went for huge money on Mercari. I sell big money items on Mercari also. So I think Mercari is great for bread and butter and big money. So definitely check it out if you're not selling on that platform. Um, I did have a little hiccup the other day and my account got completely closed. Um, I figured out how to get it back within 24 hours. I do have a video that shows everyone how I got it back. If you guys wanna check out those videos, um, it might be helpful in the future. Hopefully you never have the problem I had. It ended up being a complete error in their system. So it was resolved quickly and I'm really happy with that. And I am back on Mercari and making sales. So if you're not on Mercari and you wanna join Mercari, there is a link down in the description. Um, if you join, you get a coupon when you join and a coupon when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So that's pretty cool. And um, I also get a coupon. So if you use my uh, referral link, that gets you the coupon and me the coupon. So check it out. It's down below in the description. Picked up a Willie G. Soulless Harley Davidson leather jacket for $49 from the Goodwill and it sold at auction for $257. Buyer paid shipping. Picked up in December and sold in January. Total profit after fees, $218. 
So it's a Harley Davidson jacket, you guys. Pretty cool. All right. Jimmy Buffett, 2013 concert litho, lithograph, lithograph. Bought for zero, free to me from an arena employee. Sold it for $450. Buy it now plus shipping. Um, I listed this lithograph for sale and was contacted by a potential buyer asking if I would end the listing and hold it for him and relist it as a private listing for him by a date we agreed upon. Originally, I wouldn't have agreed to this, but I made an exception because he had purchased a couple of $400 lithographs from me in the past. He contacted me prior to our agreed upon date and let me know he was ready to purchase. I listed it and, pay and he paid immediately. And now he wants to buy a second $450 Jimmy Buffett lithograph that I sold to him in the past. So what makes the, this lithograph special? The concert was canceled due to severe weather. Weather conditions including, oh my goodness, freezing rain, sleet, and snow. It was designed and illustrated by an award-winning artist. It is from a limited production of only 500. It was not released to the general public. And I have another one of hit this lithograph to list. How cool is that? All right, so let me see here. This one comes from eBay store, A Friendly Flea. Um, she is a Bolo Buddies member, and this is what her eBay store looks like. So go check her out. She's got some really cool stuff in her store. Again, it's A Friendly Flea, um, and she's a Bolo Buddies member. Okay, vintage tapa cloth. This set is framed and matted, bought for $5.00 the pair at a local yard sale sold for $140.98 plus $80 priority shipping. And it's going back to Hawaii where it was framed many, many years ago. So it is a vintage uh, Polynesian tapa bark cloth framed art pair. It looks like this guys. Hmm. I don't know anything about golf clubs, but this one looked like a nice one. Not to mention it's a junior club, paid about $3 for it and had it listed for 92, took an offer for 70 and this went internationally. Odyssey two ball white hot RHWHC junior. So the good thing about golf clubs is most of the information that you need for the listing is written on the club. So you can look them up really easy that way. I paid $1 for this, listed it at 25, great bolo. As soon as I posted it, had a buyer wanting to buy it immediately. That let me know that it was way too low. I do this all the time. Revised it to 50 and took a best offer of 40, but I could have listed it for 70, sold in a week. Yeah, polo items, um, especially the vintage, there's a big following for Ralph Lauren um, vintage items. So definitely uh, look them up. New with tags, Oscar De La Renta dress. Bought it at a large consignment store in Iowa for 19.99. It still had its original $2,190 price tag on it. I sold it on Poshmark for $480. I had originally sent it to the Real Real, but they took horrible photos, misdescribed it, and listed it for $199. So I complained and they sent it back to me free of charge. I would have only made $60 if they had sold it. So yeah, definitely, I mean, you're going to make more money selling the item yourself. I think that that's, that's good feedback. Uh, photo, uh, you, I said photo room because it's in the picture. They used photo room to white it out. So if you pay for photo room, um, the photo room, it takes that away. And photo room now has bulk where you can do 50 pictures at a time. It's amazing, but you have to have the pro plan. Um, if you want to check out photo room, I do have a referral link down in the description. So she sold that for $40. You won't find this specific tie but you could very well find ties from the 1940s and earlier. Pay close attention to the stitching on the back of the tie. That will be a clue, a real clue to its age. Here's something cool about this specific tie. It was made as a promotional item for a book of that era called Famous Cattle Brands. That's cool enough on its own, but I sold the tie to the author's grandson. He didn't even know the tie had ever existed. He's trying to round up memorabilia of his grandfather's. It sold for $125, best offer. Super, super cool. This one comes from Scott. He is a major bolo finder. His YouTube channel is called The Cha-Ching King. Definitely go sub him up. Just like he dropped all that knowledge, he drops knowledge in his videos. He also helps people that are new to eBay. Um, he has a lot of beginners videos and like tutorials. 
but he is a major bolo finder. Like I have been sharing his bolos in the featured members videos and I'm like, this man can source. He is amazing. So um, go check out his channel, Cha-Ching King Scott. And I love the name, Cha-Ching Cha -ching King, even though it's a tongue twister for me. He said, I wanted to post something that you could actually find out in the wild. These slides were given to me as they were going to be thrown out. This is also from cha -ching King. The 35 millimeter slides that predate the 1970s have always done well for me. I put these on an auction with a starting bit of 80 and it looks like they sold for $103.83 plus shipping. Yard Sales and Dreams also sells a ton of slides. She has a great YouTube channel also. She is a Bolo Buddies member. Go check her out. This one is not hers. She doesn't do Facebook, so she never shares, but um, she, I do share her Bolos in the featured members videos, so she is amazing. All right, Scott has one more for us, and I'm going to share it because it's awesome. This hat sold a few minutes ago for a best offer of $85. I paid $4 at a thrift store. Some quick tips for vintage hats. Look for hats that are made in the USA. Those are usually older. Look for old farm baseball caps or caps with big, bright colors like this one. This is a polo sport hat. It is vintage. It's Ralph Lauren. We talked about this earlier. Ralph Lauren has a following. Um, they can go for big money. This one sold for $101.99 plus shipping. Estate sale free. Sold price $99.95 plus shipping. You guys, this says vintage 1920s real human hair twist. Estate fine gray brown five bundles. It's hair. This should have been under the weirdest bolos. It's hair, you guys. How did you know it's from the 20s? Owner of the house. So that's how they knew it was from the 20s. How funny is that? So we're just going to end this video with human hair. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you made it this far, leave me an emoji of a hat of a hat. Thank you so much for being here. This is video five for me tonight, so I'm starting to stumble over my words. I apologize for that. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out those channels that I mentioned in the video. Um, also, if you're not in my Facebook group, definitely go join it. There's links for all my stuff. Um, my affiliate links are down there, so if you want coupons for different things, links to click on to get coupons. Um, if you want to join List Perfectly, a cross-posting service that I use, I've been using it since 2019. I love it. You can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES. Um, I also have Twitter and Pinterest. I try to post my videos on those, but I don't really do anything else on those, if I'm being completely honest. But if you hit that bell, um, that will uh, set you up for notifications. YouTube will notify you when I post videos. So definitely do that if you have not already. And go share a bolo in the Facebook group, you guys. I want to see your bolo. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to leave me an emoji. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.